uh, too many predators, both lion, leopard, cheetah, wild dogs, hyenas, they can all prey on warthog. And in this specific area, Sabi Sands, that we're in, uh, you've got quite a lot of very hard clay soils, and not very sort of deep, softer soils for these animals to burrow into. So it's quite hard for them to find safe burrows. The burrows are a little bit further and farther in between than they would be in some other habitats. So the escape routes and places to hide and places to sleep is all a bit harder. You combine that with many predators and you've got not the highest success rate of, of breeding here for warthogs. But nonetheless, they're around. Always nice to see little pumbas. Wallow there. Warthogs, like most other animals that don't have hair on the skin, compare them to things like buffalo and rhino maybe, they love a good mud wallow. It's nice to cool down in, obviously it's been a very hot day, still is. Nice to cool down that way, but also it's a good way to get rid of some ticks and some fleas and parasites that might be on the skin. I'm sure she's going to go for a little scratch or a rub now up against one of those logs. Let's see what she does. I had a question come through from Claire regarding these sort of water plants growing on the water, flowery water hole. I must be honest with you, I can't remember the name for them anymore. They don't have an English name, only a scientific name, but um, they should flower sometime. And I can't remember exactly when, but I think later into summer they actually make beautiful yellow flowers. I remember in about 2002, we had a fantastic leopard sighting here once, and I photographed these leopards on these yellow flowers. It looked amazing. So I'm sure we'll get that again soon, Claire. So we're going to maybe move on soon, but as soon as there's some flowers on it, we'll have a proper look at it. Dogs are funny. They like baboons a little bit. You, you can almost watch them, even if they're not doing much, just because you <laughs> expect them to do something at some stage. One of your favorites, Alex. I love warthogs. So, Peter, can you tell me the reason why they go down on the knees when they, they feed? Is there any reason for it? It's just easier. I just what Alex is talking about is she just stood up now, but quite often they fold the the wrist essentially or the knees. Or sake of explanation, just to get lower down, it's just easier, makes digging easier, use the snout, but a very hard ridge on top of the nose as well, warthogs, they use those tusks a little bit for digging, but typically most of the digging, like pigs, they use the, the hard upper edge of the nose, or the snout, so they're actually sniffing as they dig as well, yeah, it's quite funny, they can spend sometimes hours walking around on their, um, call it the knees, on their wrists. <laughs> Scrawny little piggy. Typically they've got three or four, five even piglets early summer. And depending on where they are and what area they're in, on average probably about 50% of those survive. I'd say in Sabi Sands probably about 25%. Okay, I think we're going to continue on a little bit. Have a quick look at those plants, Alex, just have a look through here. This is the sort of plants Claire was talking about. Like I said, we'll have another look at it another time when these things are actually in flower. They make these small yellow flowers. It's quite beautiful. Nice and lush growing in the shallows of the water. Kudus also eat it, but waterbuck especially feed on this quite often. 